States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hey everyone, this is Mrs. Willis. I'm coming to you virtually from my kitchen. I know it's a little bit weird, a little bit unconventional, but in the world we're living in today, this is kind of the norm. This is the point in the program where I would normally welcome parents and cousins and siblings and aunts and uncles and everybody. But right now, since we're tasked with doing this virtually, I'm gonna just welcome everybody to our eighth grade virtual recognition. I have to say, I'm really, I'm really proud of this eighth grade class. You know, in light of everything that has happened recently, they've continued to work hard in preparation for their high school career. The ending of their middle school career has been less than ideal, and I'm sure you would all agree with that. Even though this is being done virtually, we're gonna do our best to highlight all of the accomplishments that have been made by this eighth grade class. This year has not been normal by any means, and our students, teachers, and parents continue to overcome these challenges that have been set in front of them. I wanna take this time to thank some of our amazing staff members. We have Mrs. Shaver, our KA guidance counselor, Mrs. Huth, our amazing middle school secretary, Mr. Cummings, our six through 12 band director, who's done an amazing job this year, Dr. Bryman, our superintendent, who's also very supportive of our eighth grade team and every, everything in the middle school. And finally, our amazing eighth grade teaching staff who has really stepped up and uh, to think outside of the box to make sure that we're recognizing the students in our eighth grade. So thank you to Ms. Warner, Mrs. Elias, Mr. Riley, Mr. Flanagan, Mrs. Sarver, Mrs. Bixler, Mr. Dockery, and Mrs. Montgomery. Without further ado, I present to you our eighth grade recognition. Hi there, my name is Samantha Baranek and I am a senior at Warlow High School. I'd like to start off by saying congratulations to the eighth grade class. You are all now entering a new chapter in your life, which is high school. High school can be a wonderful experience. I know personally, I enjoy mine. Throughout my high school career, I definitely became more confident and outgoing. And then I also got the opportunity to make a lot of new memories with my friends that will last a lifetime. If I could pass down any advice to you, it would be three things. One, your grades are extremely important. Whether you plan on going to college, going to Maplewood, or getting your high school diploma and starting off with a career you've already chosen, your grades reflect the motivation and attitude you have and are willing to put into something that you deserve. So you need to try your best. Number two is to enjoy the time you have with your friends. I know four years seems like a long time, but it goes by really quick. And after high school, a lot of people go in a lot of different directions for different opportunities. So high school could be the last time that you and your friends are together in one place at one time. My third and final advice for you is to take the time to discover yourself. High school is the perfect opportunity to figure out what subject you enjoy the most, which could then influence your career choice. It's a great time to try out a new sport or club or get better at one that you're already in or to make new friends. I know a lot of times in high school, people always try to fit in, try to do what everybody else wants them to do. But after these four years, it's all about you. It doesn't matter what anybody else wants you to do. You don't have to fit in. So start now by thinking about what decisions will not only better you now, but also better you in the future. And that is all I have for you. I hope you all enjoy your summer. Hopefully COVID-19 does not put a damper on that. And I wish you all the best of luck throughout your high school career and furthermore. Hey class of 2024, I'm Adam Klein, graduate of 2020. Just want to let you guys know some things that I wish I knew coming into high school. You know, what to do, what not to do. Um, first off, freshman year isn't that big of a deal. It is, but it's not as intimidating as everyone makes it out to be. You know, I met some really cool people my freshman year, some really cool teachers I really connected with, and I still talk to a lot as a senior. Uh, don't wish your high school 
journey away because each year goes quicker than the last take from me my senior year got cut pretty short so did your guys' uh, eighth grade year so just don't wish high school away it was honestly the best four years of my life and I am upset I didn't get to play baseball my senior year but now looking back at it I had some good times throughout high school and I don't really regret anything first off don't be that guy who walks up the stairs the wrong way because there's nothing more annoying than someone walking up this, the left side of the stairs just go up the right side um, and you should be good uh, second of all just have some school spirit don't distance yourself at all you know try and be in school functions go to basketball football volleyball games show up work concessions your junior year it's a good way to help give back to the school. Just don't, just don't be, just don't put your head down and just try and buckle through it and get done and make those four years fly by because they're really precious and you cherish those in later years to come. I know I will. So that's it. I just wanted to give you guys a little tidbit of high school and wish you well on your high school journey. Hello, Mrs. Elias here to present the American History Awards. Two Waterloo students are receiving the 2020 American History Awards. One American History Award goes to Paul Greist. He is a terrific student. Paul has great class participation. Paul is respectful of his classmates. Paul's assignments and tests are always well done. Paul always follows directions. His enthusiasm and positive attitude brighten the classroom for everyone. Paul helped other students prepare for tests during his study hall, which made a huge difference for those students. Allison Miller also receives the American History Award for 2020. She is an amazing student who always does her best. Allie has earned the highest grades in history this year. Allison is respected by her teachers and her classmates. She is a hard worker. Allison won the Waterloo Middle School Geography Bee and advanced to the next level. I would like to congratulate all the Waterloo 8th graders and wish them the best of luck in high school next year. Welcome students, parents, friends, staff to our 8th grade recognition this year. We know this year at Waterloo has been a little bit different with all the worldly situation going on. But we'd still like to put some thank yous out there to our students who have worked so hard in this time when we've been apart and throughout the entire school year. Our staff who work so hard, especially during this time when we're all away, to make sure we stay connected with our students. And the parents who have done everything that they could to help our students be successful before and continuing forward as they go into high school. Eighth grade, in math class, we have some great memories. You know. Our field trip to the Pythagoras Math Museum. No, I still will not be in your TikTok videos and the digital Google meetings that we've had since, you know, we've had our time apart. I'm so thankful that I've got to be your teacher uh, over these past three years in middle school. And at this time, there's two students that I'd like to honor with our eighth grade pre-algebra awards. These two students did not miss one assignment all year long. 
as well as had the highest class averages. This year's pre-algebra math awards go to Taylor Heilman and Bobby Harif. I also have the great honor of teaching our eighth grade algebra one. I thought I knew what I was getting myself into, having all these students in sixth grade. And they were told at the very beginning of the year that because they have chosen to be part of our Algebra One group, with great power comes great responsibility. We've had plenty of fun along the way. We got to meet Oscar, celebrate with some pancakes, and even a great Pi Day celebration. But this award was close. Our top three students in Algebra, by score, were separated by less than two-tenths of a percent. It's with great pride and honor that we award this year's Algebra One Math Award to Mr. Kyle Werbeck. Congratulations, everybody. Good luck, have a great summer, and we'll see you next year as freshmen. Hi guys, this is really a crazy time. I can't believe we're at the end of the year already and it's time for us to give out recognition awards. And it's so weird, I'm used to just looking out over a whole bunch of people and, and students and all of us having you know cookies and punch afterwards and I'm really gonna miss that. I, I really miss our class discussions, your spilling the tea as you guys like to call it. And I miss the times even when Dylan and Alex are always wanting to go up and teach the class. I'm sure you guys all missed that too, ha ha. But back to the award. This award is for my um, language arts student. And I chose these two students because of their work ethic. Um, the, the work I get from them is very thoughtful. They put time into it, a lot of effort into it. And they are my, my standout students when it comes to um, expressing themselves in writing. The two students that I chose this year for my Language Arts Award are Kaylee Webb and Vincent Goodyear. Hello everyone. I hope you're all safe and healthy. This year's eighth grade science awards go to two students who were both excellent academically and showed a strong desire to understand scientific concepts. The eighth grade science awards go to Julie Rock and Jacob Moff. Congratulations, everyone have a great summer and good luck with your freshman year next year. First of all, I'd like to say congratulations and best of luck to our eighth grade students as they move on to the high school. This year, our PE award goes to Kara English. Kara exhibits the qualities of a true student athlete. She is conscientious, well-prepared, talented, and polite, as well as being a team player. I look forward to watching Kara in the future and following her career. Congratulations and best of luck. First off, I want to take this opportunity and say congratulations to this year's 8th grade class. Best of luck and best wishes as you move on into high school next year. This year, the Boys Physical Education Award is going to be awarded to Isaac Biltz. Congratulations, Isaac, and you had a very nice year. Choosing two students to receive the 8th grade band award was no easy task. There were many well-deserving students. When choosing the two students to receive this award, I looked for students who were well-prepared, who weren't afraid to come down to the band room and ask for help, and who showed a lot of growth throughout this past school year. The two, the two students I've chosen to receive the 8th grade band award are Zoe Sams and Haley Mullins. Congratulations. I chose Zoe because this is her first year in band, which is not an easy thing to do as an eighth grader. She worked hard, she practiced, 
and she's made a lot of growth to catch up with her peers. I chose Haley because she was often down in the band room during third period intervention, asking questions, asking for help, and she also showed a lot of growth from the beginning to the end of this school year. So again, congratulations to Haley Mullins and Zoe Sams on receiving the 8th grade band award. It's Mrs. Bixler. I'm presenting an achievement award to a student that is hardworking, always getting his work turned in on time to the best of his abilities. A student that's always willing to lend a helping hand to his peers. This student is Jacob Blanford. Great job, Jacob. Keep up the great work. Hi, everyone. It's Mrs. Sarver, and this year I get to introduce the winner of the 8th grade achievement award. And this year it goes to Kassara Schlarb. Congratulations, Kassara. I am so proud of everything that you've accomplished this year in eighth grade. Every day I had the pleasure of watching you learn. You are conscientious and responsible. You are a self-starter and you persevere in the face of challenge. You demonstrated this repeatedly in the classroom and when we moved to distance learning. Your positivity and your joy fill the classroom when you are in there. Uh, it's truly a pleasure to work with you and I'm really going to miss having you in my class. I wish you all the best next year in high school um, and good luck and congratulations. Way to go, Kisara. The Citizenship Award is a little different because all of your teachers vote on you for this award. We look for people who are kind, caring, responsible, and that like to help other people, that, that do good citizenship types of things. And the two students that we chose this year always show up with a smile, are always very helpful, very respectful, and kind. And the two people that we chose this year to receive our citizenship award are Tiana Hovey, and Avery Lovejoy. Pleasure to present the 2019-2020 Archie Griffin Award. The award is named for Mr. Archie Griffin, who is an Ohio native and the only two-time recipient of the Heisman Trophy. He was also a great representative of exemplary sportsmanship. Sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity are essential components of any successful athletic program. And as part of an ongoing program to promote sportsmanship, ethics, and integrity, the OHSAA would like to recognize students who display these characteristics. Waterloo Middle School would like to present the Archie Griffin Award to two student athletes this year. First is Ms. Kara English, who is a member of our basketball and track teams. Our second award is presented to Mr. Amir Alcolic, who is a member of our football and basketball teams. Congratulations, and best of luck to you in your future athletic careers. Good evening. It's my honor and privilege tonight to announce the students in our eighth grade who have achieved the President's Award for Educational Excellence. The President's Award for Educational Excellence was established to encourage students to achieve high academic standards. To qualify, students must earn at least a 3.5 grade point average from sixth grade through the first semester of eighth grade. This year, 31 students out of a total of 89 earned this honor. A letter from Secretary of Education Betsy Devos is attached to each certificate. Students in this graduating class of 2024 earning the President's Award for Educational Excellence are Gracie Abbey, Layla Atkins, Catalina Askerens, Cheyenne Biltz, Isaac Biltz, Jacob Blanford, Olivia Boyle, Taryn Brown, Alexandria Bunker, Emma Chafee, Kylie Duvall, Jackson Eichler, Gavin Elling, Kara English, Drew Flarida, Lily Foster, John Galehouse, Vincent Goodyear, Paul Grist, K. 
Casey Harrigal, Taylor Heilman, Avery Lovejoy, Katie McClellan, Allison Miller, Jocelyn Peterson, Julie Rock, Alex Ramon Johnston, Zoe Sams, Morgan Schweitzer, Kaylee Webb, and Kyle Warbeck. Also earning the Presidential Award for Academic Achievement is Chloe Williamson. Congratulations to these students on their outstanding achievement. Students, you are now almost high schoolers, ready for more responsibility, more work, and more opportunities. I once again want to congratulate you and wish you nothing but the best for the future. You are now ready for the next chapter in your journey. I hope you enjoyed our eighth grade virtual recognition. Thank you for taking time to celebrate with us. Stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful summer. We'll see you next school year.